Here we see we have the public folder database created and we did this in a previous lesson but in actuality there's nothing within that public folder structure just yet. In fact to start things off you might want to create the initial public folders yourself and then allow permissions to those out in the organization that they can create additional public folders underneath that structure. So let's say you have a company with three branch offices one in London, one in New York, and one in Los Angeles. Just as an idea, you might create three different leading public folder structures. In the past, this would be done through the Outlook client, and here we have the Outlook Web Access client open, and you can see that we have public folders and there's nothing underneath that. Being that we're logged in as the administrator, from here we could just right-click, select Create New Folder, Mail Folder, and let's say we create our first one. Now we could continue to create public folders in this way. However, there's a new tool called the Public Folder Management Console tool that has been introduced with Service Pack 1. To open that tool, we'll go to the Toolbox. Here we have the Exchange Management Console. We'll click Toolbox. And here we see the Public Folder Management Console. If we open that console, you'll see that it opens up separately from the Exchange Management Console. If we look at our default public folders, you can see that the one that we created just a moment ago, London, is in there now. If we want to create additional public folders, we can select the default public folders, and over here in the Actions pane, we can kick off the New Public Folder Wizard. And it's pretty simplistic. In this case, we're going to type in New York, We hit finish and it completes. And we'll create one for Los Angeles. Now we don't have to stop here. We could select any one of these and create public folders beneath them. In fact, we can create an entire structure if we'd like to. Typically, it's a good idea to give a little thought to your public folder structure because they tend to take on a life of their own. So, if you organize things in a logical way to start with, then most likely, as it grows, it will be a bit more manageable. So, we hope you found this helpful, and we'll see you in the next lesson.